Hey, hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to sort an array in ascending order as well as descending order in Java. So I'm not going to use any algorithm like bubble sort, quick sort, insertion sort. So I'm just going to sort an array with the help of inbuilt function, okay? So let's get started. So first let me declare my array, okay? So let it be of type int and let ARR be my array and I will just put some random values. Okay, something I'll just put. Okay, I think that's fine. So the inbuilt function for sorting an array is you need to put arrays. Okay, it's arrays. Okay, you will be having it in java.util. Just click it and you will be getting this header file imported. So it's arrays.sort. Okay, and inside the sort, you will be passing your array name. So in my case, it is arr. So I'll just put it inside it semicolon and now I will just print my array. Okay, so it's going to be for int i equal to 0, i less than arr dot length i plus plus and system dot out dot and inside this here of i okay so that's it just save it and compile it and run it so as you can see here uh, by default this array is dot sort sorts our array in ascending order. So I'm getting so array sorted in ascending order, okay? For sorting in descending order, here comes the problem, okay? So I'll just put a comma over here. I'll put collections dot, okay? Reverse order, okay? So this, this is a inbuilt function for sorting our array in, like in descending order. I'll just save it and you, as you can see here, same java.util.collections. So now if I just, I'll just do the same thing, compile, compile it. We will be getting an error, okay? So the reason we are getting this error because this comparator, okay? This works only with of type integer, okay? So this won't work of type int, okay? And I hear you, both integer and int are not same in Java, okay? So this is the difference, uh, okay? So int is like a normal data type, primitive data type. So it's just like a common for all C, C++, everything, but yeah, integer is a class, okay, which wraps a primitive type into an object. So integer basically converts our normal variable into an object, like we have how we have a class on uh, objects, right? So that is for integer. So the reason why we are getting this error is that this collections dot reverse order only works with integer type arrays and not in type arrays. So now if I just go and change it to integer, okay. And if I just now save it, and I'll just clear it everything. And if I just now compile it, and if I run it now, so as you can see, this time I'm getting all things sorted in descending order. And let's suppose say that you don't want to convert, uh, like have an integer array, and you want to keep it as int. So in that case, what you will be doing is, okay, we will be having our sorted array over here, right? So it's really simple. What you are doing is. You, you are just going to reverse our ascending order sorted array. So basically, if you just reverse this ascending order sorted array, so I will just first uh, run it again, okay? So just, okay. So now as you can see here, if you just reverse this, this is ascending order sorted array. And if you just reverse this, you will be getting the descending order array. So I hope that made sense. So instead of like printing this way, what we can do is, let me just have a copy of this. I'm just copying it just before, after sorting in ascending order, paste it, just remove this line, okay. So this is going to be our for loop for printing and this is going to be our for loop for reversing the contents in our array. So for this, we will be using a second array, okay. So for that, what we will do is, uh, we will be having uh, int, I will put arr of 2 be my second array, okay. So will it be equal to new int of arr dot length, okay. Just save it and now what we'll be doing here is that, let me have a variable int j equal to error of length, okay? So we need to store in the reverse order in one array, okay? So for it's going to be uh, error of two, that is my temporary or a secondary array of j minus one, okay? The reason is because we are going to come from 
back to front okay so this has arr has about seven elements okay so we are going to store from the sixth index okay this length will be equal to seven but we need to store from sixth index to the zeroth index of arr2 so for that to access the sixth sixth index we will be putting this length that is j minus one and this is going to be straightforward equal to arr of i that's it only this is going to be the reversal okay and next line we need to go backwards okay this for arr array it will go in the front direction that is i plus plus but for arr2 array it will go in the reverse order so it's going to be j minus minus okay and here instead of printing arr we will be printing arr of 2 arr of 2 okay that's it i guess if enough save it and if i just now compile it and run it so as you can see here i'm getting in the descending order itself okay so so we have just reversed our ascending order array to get in descending order okay so i hope that made sense if this is like too much for you you can just go with that uh integer array also so anything you can do your choice so i hope you have found this video useful i also learned many other programming videos in java as well as c c plus plus python sql queries as well as 3d animation using blender so do check other videos of my channel subscribe and support me thanks for watching